like a scrub. You look like an amateur. You're like a DIY <laughs> scrub. <laughs> Man, you're really complimenting yourself a lot. Today. I'm just mad. <laughs> Ooh, what? Got one win down today. I'm feeling good about it. That's Let's... a dub. <laughs> That's a dub. Whoa. Hopefully we don't go over shooting our margins or else we'll have big time drama. I'm Kristen and this is Matt. We've spent the last four years sailing our $5,000 Craigslist boat to some of the most beautiful places in the Caribbean. From spearfishing in South Andros, Bahamas, staying in a treehouse and riding horses through the rainforest of the Dominican Republic, to even dodging hurricanes in Puerto Rico. We could have never imagined what this adventure would become. After gaining more sailing experience, we knew we had to make some serious upgrades to our boat if we wanted to keep this journey going. So we decided to go all in with our 40-year-old boat and get a new engine. We soon realized that we were in for more projects than we originally planned on. There's going to be some major changes coming up, so hit subscribe and join us for the journey. What's up guys? Welcome back to Sailing GBU. Today we are doing some stuff that has the energy pumping for me. We are jumping in the V-Birth and we're going to start finishing some things off. I mean, it's not fully finishing, it's like, you know, semi-finishing. Well, we're going to, now that we've got a good jump on the entirety of the boat and some things are starting to come together, we're thinking let's take it room by room and get like 95% of everything done. Obviously, there's big steps like painting everything where you're going to do all of that at once. You're not going to paint one room, then move on to the next one and the next one. There's still a construction site. But I think we can get like lights done in the V-Birth, cap uh, trim done in the V-Birth, Get that front cabinet veneered. We gotta take we're that jump, on, I'm terrified. Yeah, we're jumping right into the V-Birth today and a lot of people have been wondering, even our own family members, how are you gonna cover all this plywood and yeah, what's we, it gonna look like? So we are getting into that today and we both don't know what the heck we're doing and if it's gonna be throwing us for major It's loops. gonna be the first time ever doing it and it's something that's like hard to do. People will spend their whole lives trying to figure out how to do this perfectly and we have some difficult ones, you know. We maybe didn't have the best forethought. So we're gonna struggle for sure, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna get it done. All right, so now that my V-Birth is clean, I'm gonna run out to my magical wood pile and I'm hoping against hope that I did not throw my old trim pieces away because they will help me immensely when it comes to shaping these new ones. If I did throw them away, I'll be really sad because it'll take me some hours to figure it out. So hopefully they're there, but I might have pitched them. So let's get out there and see if we can find them. So we went out to our wood pile and I found my trim pieces. These are gonna help me immensely. And in my infinite wisdom, obviously when I took these off, I even marked them starboard and port. Okay, so what this piece of trim does basically is it allows us a place to put some lights into here. We're gonna subset the lights into this trim. And then also has a channel back here for running wires and doing things like that. Obviously that's kind of ugly. You don't it's want- It's a scary dark hole that roaches can go It's a in. scary dark hole. So you wanna have that finished off. You know, you have a nice butt up to your wall and all that stuff. So this is gonna give us a nice template for a new shape. And it's all gonna look real good. So we got our template. I have to shave a little bit off of our template to match up with our new wall. And then once I have that, I'm going to make the new piece of trim out of PVC for two reasons. One, it's waterproof and that's really great. I've been beating that horse pretty hard lately. But uh, also we have inset lights that we're gonna have to put in. So I have to have enough room to groove out a piece. It's gonna get a smooth 
easy edge and it's going to be removable so that way everything's removable in there in case I have to access my front panels. Looks hmm? good. Anybody else feel that? I gotta tell you boys, sometimes it hurts. It's painful being that damn good. <sighs> so Matt did a perfect job fitting in this trim. It's looking fabulous, but it's not done yet. We're going to now measure to see where our lights are because we're gonna do some sanding of the edge. We don't want a square edge. We wanna blend that in, but I got these lights. They're cheap lights. I got them off Amazon. I hope they work okay. They're just the kind that inset in, you know, people put them on van builds and different stuff like that. So fingers crossed these lights work. So I got my rounded edge sanded off. It looks pretty good. It's never perfect when you do it with those hand tools. It'd be better if you had a rounder. I think it looks really great. It, it's good for hand for hand going, and you could take some more time and make it look even better and better. But you know, we did all right with it. We're happy with it. So now we're getting ready to figure out where we want to set our lights in at. We're gonna do three. Three lights. We thought maybe four, maybe three, but we decided to go with three. You know, we like a nice romantic atmosphere in here. <laughs> Not too much light. It's dimmable, so if they work. True. We can always hit the dimmer, <laughs> set the mood. What was the thing you did in the last video? The love nest or something? Oh no. You remember. put your hands up in the air and you did the. <laughs> yeah, whatever that was. marked out and now I'm going to get my depth set for my router and I'm just going to use my router and zip it out. It doesn't have to be a beautiful cut because it's just a hole for this to slip into. Ta da! How do you feel about that? Feeling pretty good about it. extra so he did a little extra routing not just the hole he routed for the arms to hold it in and the wiring so it can be completely flat woo wee how do you feel about that 
Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> no, I feel, uh, I feel like it's going to work well. And then in that channel is where I'll put, I'll, you know, I'll have to put these all together, run them together with the, uh, the wiring that's going to go all around town on a switch. But yeah, I think so far this is going to work really well and it came out pretty smooth. Let's put all the lights in and see what it's going to look like. Okay, let's do it. All right, here we go. Here we go, people. In the comments down below, let us know. Do you think it's going to pop off or not? Bad happen? No, I just that's what I was trying to avoid by tying up the cords because I need fiddlesticks with them. Ooh, wow, impressive. Obviously, we have to screw it up there so it's gonna cut a little bit of that gap there that you can see, but that looks good. Hell yeah. Once we screw it in, yeah, that little bit will be, you know, pushed in there and then it's gonna be removable, so if I ever have to work on it, I can just take down. Let me see, this would be. Oh, see, this could end up being a miracle right here. I can put the screw through this that's gonna attach it, and then I can just put that on somehow. Then that's gonna go there. So if I ever need to access, like take this front section completely out, that's why I designed it so I can access the four stays and things like that. All I'll have to do is pop this cover off, unscrew this, I'll be able to take this completely out, service anything behind it, and then I'll be able to slide my drawers completely out to be able to crawl up to the front. So all in all, I know this refit's taking some time and I'm a lot of you guys, you know, called me a dummy in there, but I think <laughs> this is actually the best, the most design, like the prettiest I could do also, but the function of being able to access all these things that I will no doubt have to fix that seat one day so i'm pretty happy about that i think i'm out here and you know i think y'all calling me stupid but I, I bet in about 10 years i see a whole bunch of these types of designs being taken on so juno benito elon if y'all need to call me hire me i'm available <laughs> are you though yeah <laughs> One win down today. I'm feeling good about it. That's Let's, a dub. <laughs> That's a dub. High five. We're not going to let this day get away from us if we're already winning. Let's just keep winning. Keep We're winning. going to pull out the cabinet in the V-Birth and we got some testing and some experimenting, hopefully more winning, on trying to laminate, what is it called? What is the actual name of the product? We're trying to laminate and contact cement are for mica but we have some inside corners that are going to be hard i think you know yeah it's, a, it's a custom shape you know v-birth cabinet i know we've all seen it a million times if Ooh. you've been watching our videos if you haven't and you're new here make sure you guys subscribe hit that subscribe button you're gonna want to see the end transformation of this entire boat so you might as well hit subscribe now so you don't miss it yeah just do it just touch it so yeah, the veneer is going to be tougher. You know, like I said, we're stacking up dubs. We knocked out that, that PVC, but PVC is kind of a lightweight. I think this Formica, all that's going to be, that's, you know, that's a big old boy. That one can swing away. So we might not be able to rack up the dub as easily on this one, but we will eventually dub it out. Don't matter how many rounds it takes. I feel like me. you're going to poke me in the eye with your pencil. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I put eraser first. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to work, guys. Bertha. ladies and gents that's my light as a feather v-birth cabinet that i can take completely in and out and that's important to me and it was not easy but you know when you're a freaky genius 
things just come in handy for you. <laughs> Matt, you're really complimenting yourself a lot today. I'm just mad, because people have been, you know, most people, most of y'all are homies, and even when you mess something up, people, your friends are like, well, that's, that's coming out all right. Even when you know it ain't coming out all right, you know, you just say, hey, I'm a pretty good job. But there's these couple of, like, special haters that just think they know everything. Like a well-trained dog. I know. I can get a daddy that can teach me how to build cabinets and I can do it just how he did it and then I'll, it'll come out perfect and I'll trick myself into thinking I did it perfect. But it's like chasing, a, it's going and getting the duck when the hunter shoots it. The, a dog can be taught to swim out and do something. I'm trying to be a real hunter. You can't teach a dog how to hunt ducks, but you can teach him how to fetch. So I ain't a fetcher, boy. I'm a hunter. Oh, rant over. Um, okay, rant over. All right, for Micah's upstairs, so we got to measure. Yep. That stuff's crazy hard to handle, so you don't want to be dealing with it in here. Um, you want to be dealing with it at the Airbnb, so we're going to cut it up up there, snip it, and then bring it down here, a workable piece. So we're getting our bulk measurements now. y'all that worry about bear and say where's bear where i don't say and start having a panic attack because it looks like bear's not living her absolute best life in the ac all day long just living it up loving it so don't worry you go to sleep please <laughs> So when I went to get this, you may say, man, that looks like a lot of laminate. I actually have twice as much as this because when I went there, I finally, we went through hell and high water to finally pick out a color that we liked and we, it, it, I won't go into it. But the guy said, hey, I said, how many sheets do you have left? Because it may take like 10 pieces to do the whole boat. And he's like, oh, I only have eight left because some guy bought a whole bunch. I used to have 50 sheets. So the guy bought it all, so I bought all that was left. So... Hopefully we don't go overshooting our margins or else we'll have big time drama. Yeah, because that could be a problem if we can't find any more. We don't need some cabinets one color and some cabinets the other color. Whoa. All right, Chris, you remember how big we were supposed to cut it? You wrote it on your hand. All right, guys, so we went upstairs. We forgot to take our masking tape up there, which really helps you cut this stuff. It wants to chip and flake when you're cutting a whole piece. This stuff's pretty fragile. We forgot it, so we had some oopsies and some cracks, but we got it all done. We got it down here, and now we're going to cut out our strips. I think maybe they call it banding in this particular field to do all of our edges first. The inside edges. The, the inside edges, the outside edges, the top edge, and the, bo the bottom edge. And what that helps you do is when you put your faceplate on, it's when you're looking at it, and you router it off you see the flush edge and then you only see your seams when you open the door instead of seeing your seams on the outside while everything's closed that looks a little bit funky yeah, it doesn't make much sense now but you'll see it doesn't make sense now but we got to do the inside first and it's going to help smooth out some of those little inconsistencies in my weird cabinet that i made <laughs> Kristen cutting this out with the masking tape, our first strip. One thing I'll tell you, gentlemen, it takes a feminine touch. I know it's 2020 and I ain't supposed to say stuff like that, 2022, but- uh, This is hard though. She's got a calmer way about her with handling this for Micah. I seem to just destroy it. Plus, I'm right-handed and the devil's left-handed is what it's I heard. True, I got the devil's left-handedness. <laughs> All right, guys, so it's the next day. We have, Matt, stop eating that. We've been spending our entire morning figuring out how we can cut the veneer, laminate, whatever it's called. I keep forgetting what it's called. We figured out how to cut it. Matt made a pretty much a router table saw. And so we've been using that. We cut the, all the strips for this one cabinet. And now it's finally time to glue them. 
Yeah, I set these on the innards. When I built this cabinet, I really didn't think about it too much with how easy it was gonna be to finish. So it took a long time. It's gonna be a lot of strips and I'm still hoping, fingers crossed that this comes out good. But it will. we'll see. So we're gonna get right into gluing it. Let's not waste any time. What kind of glue are we using? Contact cement. We heard that this stuff is cool. You roll it on both sides, you wait a certain amount of time and then it just right together. So let's give it, it a go. So the reason we had to break this inside trim game into a what's going to end up being three rounds is because three we, rounds of gluing the strips. Three rounds of gluing the strips is because one that glue dries pretty quick. So I don't know if we could have gotten all these strips before the glue would have been dry anyways. But also we wanted to layer them on top of one another in a certain way so that we found it more aesthetically pleasing. In order to do that, you have to glue some pieces first down. But I'm actually pretty hyped with how it's coming out so far. I think it's going to work. Was it a little extra work? Yeah, but you know what? This is a custom build here, you know, fully custom. So I'm stoked. I think it's going to come out really well. guys so we got our edges all glued in on our first cabinet did it take multiple hours yes it did it took a long time measuring it took a long time cutting it took a long time gluing and then placing on was actually the fastest and we're getting a system down at least because we have a lot more to veneer on this boat all those cabinets you've seen us make we have to veneer a lot of those we're not veneering a lot of them in the inside so that's going to save us some time, but we are veneering the whole inners and out plates. I don't know what it is. Yeah, called. once we get our system and I get good with the router, this was the most difficult one by far. So that's going to be, you know, good, happy when it's done. And then the bulkheads, obviously, we have to veneer those as well. And there's some seamings that we have to get up to. So to figure that out also, but it's going to be cool. But what we did tell you was they, the edges are sticking out right now, but we're going to sand those down. Normally you would router the edges off to make it be completely flush, but it's a little difficult with our homemade cabinet that we're going to sand them down and we've already practiced. It looks like it's going to come out good. So I wish we could finish it t today in this video, but we're not going to be able to. There's too much work to be done. So make sure you sign up for Patreon if you want to see you would have already seen this completed probably in our Patreon post. So if you want to see what's happening in real time, check that out in the links down below. Yeah, the Patreon pals already know that Maddie Jenkins knocked <laughs> it out of the park with that sander. So, you know, if you know, you know. You're a Patreon pal. You said, oh, we never sweated you for a second, Matt. But I'll be honest with you, I'm sweating myself. I'm still nervous about all this laminate. Yeah, the problem, the hard part is, not to blab this on, but the hard part is going to be the front plate grain matching the grain of the doors that you have to do separately yep. so it looks like a complete smoothness if the grain doesn't match up then you look like a scrub you look like an amateur you're like a diy scrub <laughs> so and that could be us we don't know but at the end of the day that's better than nothing right hell no it's gonna come out <laughs> ouch 
Anyways, so give Matt a thumbs up on this video for his router table saw thingy. I don't know what it's called, but that was a cool idea. It worked pretty well. Yeah, you can call me Michael Irvin and Randy Moss because I'm running routes out here. Like a wide receiver, I'm running routes. <laughs> All right, don't give him any compliments. So just thumbs up on the video, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye.